Hi everyone, it's Julie here at Big Lakes Dodge. Today I'll be showing you this 2025 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Um, it's the night edition, Got has the crew cab, 4x4. It also has the um, 3 liter i6 Hurricane Twin Turbo with the start stop. It has 8-speed automatic transmission. Um, we also have the protection group package on it. So we have fuel tank skid plates, your front suspension skid plate, and your transfer case skid plate. And then looking at the wheels here, we have 20 by 9 inch aluminum wheels. Uh, it's black on the outside. We'll look on the inside here. And you can see that it's black on the inside as well with our cloth bucket seats. Um, this one is a manual, so you would adjust it manually here. And then underneath that, we do have our spot for our jack. Um, looking at the door here, we do have our door pockets, our power locks, power windows. And then we have this uh, accent, cloth accent piece along with this. Um, looking in here, we do have this storage space. It does have the Bighorn logo when you close that up. And then underneath that, we have our glove box with our owner's manual. And then we do have some extra room for gloves there. We do have also the um, carpet floor mats in here. And then a little spot to tuck. I don't even know what was in there. Maybe pens, if you carry a lot of pens with you, you could put pens in there. Uh, we'll go on into the back and we can have a bit more of a look back here. So back here again, door pockets. We have our back seat pockets in case you wanna put a magazine or a book in there while you're on the road. Um, and then we have our bench seat, which is also cloth, and it's a 60-40 split. That side is up at the moment. This side does go up as well, but my left arm isn't that strong, so I can't show you. <laughs> but I can show you that in here, um, we do have some extra cup holders. Uh, if you don't need that seat and you like a lot of drinks, I know I'm a three-drink kind of person, so need all those cup holders. But if you need the extra seat, that does go back up. Uh, underneath that, we do have our... Uh, carpet floor mats and then underneath our carpet floor mats we do have our uh, in-floor storage bins so they have one on this side and then one on that side as well I'll show you once I get over there um, oh this is already open which is nice uh, we have our outlet there along with our USB and USB-C ports and then a little nook here to stick things I don't know what would fit in there again like you could put paper clips or something but there's that option there um, We'll go on into the back. So this one does have the 3.92 rear axle ratio. Got a class four, I think it is. You know what it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's a class four pitch receiver there. We got a wiring harness. Um, we do have the backup camera and then the dampened tailgate as well. So it's not gonna fall on you there. It opens up nice and easy. And then we have our bed step, so if you want to step up, you can step up there with our big horn badging. We'll go on over to this side, and then you can see that this one is folded up. We'll have a better look at our in-floor storage bins here. So that just folds up and exposes those. Uh, there's lots of room in these. You could stick a lot of shopping bags if you don't want them laying around your truck, but you want them there so that way you don't forget them. You could stick a bunch of... Um, shopping bags in there or you could also throw in tow straps or whatever you need it's just a nice extra storage spot to have and then this does fold down which i can do there we go um and then you see the whole bench there beautiful and again we have our back seat pockets door pockets this one does have the nine alpine uh speakers with the subwoofer so if you're sitting in here and wanting to jam out you have the the Alpine speakers with subwoofer makes it sound good. All right, we're gonna hop on into the driver's seat. Um, okay, just had to hop up in here. So looking at our door here, we do have the blind spot mirrors and then um, they are heated as well as uh, powered and they fold in as well. So those controls will just be up here. When you wanna select a mirror to adjust, oh, sorry, it's, there we go. Okay, so you would just select left or right to see uh, to select which one that you want to adjust, and then you would just use the arrows to adjust it. Um, and then for folding in, you would just click this middle button here, 
as you can see they fold right in on both sides and then fold them back out and then we have our power locks power windows if you want to lock your back windows uh, so your kiddos can't open them all right looking at our steering wheel here we do have our buttons on here and I'll go through them so these ones right here just control our driver information screen which is up at the top on the cluster there um, we do have our speedometer our settings messages our audio trip information we can see our fuel economy and then our adaptive cruise control and lane management our cruise control and lane management is just right here these buttons here control that and underneath that we have our gear limit on this side we have our drive mode so you can switch through them easily and on the back of our steering wheel we do have our rocker switch which um, this one does the tuning so if you want to switch your songs or your radio station that one there will do that and on this side we do have our volume control so up or down you can adjust the volume without having to look over uh, on this side we do have our automatic headlamps so you can control those there underneath that we have our park brake and our power pedal adjustment so this one here controls the pedals I don't think you can see it but they do come forward or back oh you can see it a little bit and then um, yeah this one does have the uh, Bluetooth and voice command so you can answer our end calls from right there as long as you have your Bluetooth connected and then um, what else can I go over? We'll look over at our driver information screen here. We do have a big, big, I believe it's a 12 inch, yeah, 12 inch touch screen right here. So lots of room for looking at things. Um, your navigation, if you want to have a full screen nav, that's possible. You can look at that right there and see the whole thing. Um, nice big map. And then these ones on here on your home screen are... Uh, you can edit which ones that, that you have favorited here. So if you want your climate control to be easily accessible, you can get rid of this audio. Or if you want to get rid of the navigation because you can look at it on the big screen, you can do that there. Uh, you just click this little pencil button there and you can pick which one is your favorite. And then we have our media. So this one does have Sirius XM. We have AM, FM radio and Bluetooth as well. And then looking at our comfort, we do have heated seats in the front on both the driver and passenger side as well as a heated steering wheel which you can adjust right here or we do also have our um, and you can adjust the climate control so it's dual zone but you can also adjust them here if you don't want to have to switch the screen you can adjust them here still uh, fan up or down and then looking over here we do have our four by four options so we have four wheel four high four low um, you can also below that turn off your auto start stop so if you don't like that feature you can click this one that'll turn it off right there and then underneath that we have our axle lock um, right here we have our trailer brake control so this one does come with that I know a lot of people look for that when they're looking to haul things and that's nice to have and we do have our front and rear park assist yeah I believe that's what it's called the park assist so you can turn them off if you don't like those um, those sensors going off like say you're parking in the tall grass and it keeps beeping this is nice to be able to turn it off there so it doesn't keep bothering you and then your traction control you can go ahead and turn that off there underneath that we do have usb and usb c ports um and our auxiliary port so if you want to plug in your phone you have lots of options there for plugging it in and then we do also have the wireless uh charger station right there so if you don't want to plug in your phone um and you just want to connect it through bluetooth you can set it right there and it will charge up and then um, we have our cup holders our change holders and um, underneath that we do have some more storage space there uh, as well as in our center console here we have storage space here and another USB port it's just hidden away there and then opening up the bottom we have even more storage and this one does connect um, to the to this one on this side so if you wanted to divide that there we have this little divider you can put up and then looking here they have this fancy little um, metric system that you can have a look at it's just to fill up the space I guess have a little snazzy little extra um, looking up here we do have our uh, tailgate control um, this one turns off the the lights if you're opening up the doors you can have that option turned off you know how the lights turn on automatically when you open up your door you can turn that off there and then we have our rear sliding window it's power sliding so you just press up a button you can open that up and then we have our what is this called home controller 
it's can connect to your garage door or your gate open that up there and it's pretty easy to set up we do have videos to go through that um the setup of that if you're interested and other than that um what else do we have i already went over the alpine speakers so if, when you're jamming to your tunes you can listen to them really well um yeah i guess that's about it it's a good look at a oh, quick one run through of all the features there so there's a quick look at it for you uh, if you have any other questions of course you can go ahead and give us a call or come down and look at it we'd be happy to help you out with that Here's a final look at this beautiful truck here. Uh, come on down to Big Lakes Dodge, take it for a test drive, have a coffee with us, and I'll see you in the next one.